Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's going to be a little bit of a different live stream. Normally, I'm just making streams when I'm cold calling or doing my coaching calls, but I decided to go ahead and do the live stream throughout the day for a little while, at least while I get my day set up. I'm waiting on a call from a third party that's going to be helping me set up an account, and I'm going to be making cold calls, drinking some, drinking a smoothie, all of it. How's everybody's morning going so far? Afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Some of my followers are in the Philippines, so I know it's already morning time out there on Saturday. Here in uh, the Sacramento, California region, we have an overcast day, it's a little cloudy. start making some calls. I gotta plug in my inverter to get some power rolling to my laptop. I already got the dialer set up so we'll start making some calls here in a second. I'm in my remote mobile virtual office, my spaceship. Sometimes I work out of the car, sometimes I work out of home, sometimes I work out of an office. It doesn't really matter where I work, as long as I have uh, a device and a connection, I can get her done. So thank you guys for tuning in. For those of you that are, say hello in the chat. Let everybody know where you're from. And I'll get I'll get start I'll start by making some calls while I wait on this call from agent assistance. See what the screen looks like. As long as I have. Oh, don't want that. Don't want that. All right. Let's start making some calls. Just keep the dialer rolling. No voicemail. Right now we're calling uh, for sale by owners in the uh, Tampa St. Pete market down in Florida. Hello? Hi, Sam. Uh, I'm Sam Clyde. How may I help you? Hey, Clyde. This is Jeremy calling from Frank Alberts Realty here in Tampa. Yes. Calling about the property on Hickman Circle. Does Sam still own that property? not available anymore. Do you still own the property? Yes. Okay. Well, we just sold a house right down the street, and I was calling to see if there's anything we can do to help you guys. I mean, it's nothing you can do for us, because we sold the house, and the closing date is uh, in two weeks. Oh, you were already selling it? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the market for, like, three weeks, but... Uh, was a quick, uh, quick sell. <laughs> Congratulations. Did you guys uh, get your asking price? Uh, so we got three, 385. Okay. Okay. And uh, what were you asking? We were asking, yeah, the same amount, 385. Very nice. Okay. Do you have any other transactions that we can assist you with? Not for now, thank you. Uh, no problem. Keep uh, Frank Albert Realty in mind. We sell a lot of property in the area, and if needed, we'd love to help. Sure, 
sure, sure, no problem. I'll uh, I'll keep your phone number. So if we, if for any reason we don't close this deal, I will contact you. Thank you, Clyde. Oh. Take care. Uh, when are you set to close? On uh, November twenty fourth. Okay, well, maybe we'll check back then, and uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to us if you need anything. Sure, no problem. Have a good day. Yep. Bye. Okay, so we'll put him in for a call back on the 25th, and just to see if it's sold. Give him a call back in the morning because we called him in the morning. And then we just move on to the next call here. These are for sale by owners here. And I was using a just sold script, but it works just the same. Those of you that are just joining, welcome to the stream. We're making cold calls, getting things set up on a new on a, on a new platform with one of my campaigns. We're switching over from Vulcan 7 to Red X as the main uh, dialing platform. Hi, right, good afternoon. It's Jeremy over at Frank Albert's Realty. I was calling about your property, your apartment over on Village. Yes. Did you guys get that sold or is it still available? It's still available. Looks like you're asking 165? Yes. Gotcha. Are you working with a realtor if they brought a buyer for the unit? Yes. Paying 2%. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm on the assistant team here, grabbing some information for all the the specialists to see how we can help. Are you? Uh, how much time in advance do you need to show it? Uh, 24 hours would be nice, but sometimes the same day is okay. Gotcha. Okay. Now, the only for I have a, an LLC as the name. I have Suzy Q LLC. Is that that's not your name, is it? Okay, so I'll just call you Susie Q. That's fine. <laughs> I'm joking now. Um, have you had any showings or any offers yet? Uh, not on paper. Gotcha. Looks like uh, the pictures look great. Best and final. Okay, I'll probably take best and final soon. Because I have a couple people that are interested. Okay, gotcha. So if it doesn't work out, you can't get the price that you want? Or are you going to work with a realtor? Well, nobody's offered me anything last. Okay. Um, I mean, that's not really the issue, I think. I think um, people were just kind of waiting with the um, election, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, things kind of did slow down for a couple of days. Yeah, so, um, I have somebody that's very interested, though, so, uh, you know, actually three people, but I think, uh, are you, are you living there, or is it vacant? No, it's vacant. Okay. Did you guys take these pictures yourself, or did you get a professional photographer, because they look great? Um, some of them are from... A friend and some other stuff. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So it was. It, was this a rental property you had? Uh, I work for Frank Albert's Realty. We we sell a lot of property in the area, both buyers and sellers, and that's why I was calling just to see how we could help, if we could help. Okay. Well, did you read everything off of the listing? Where did you see it? I saw it on um, on my desk, and my when my boss gave it to me and said, "Call you." Oh, okay. So I don't. The, I don't get all the information. All the information is on the, the, the listing where it's listed. Gosh, not in too much of a talkative uh, mood today. I'm kind of busy right now, but um, all of the information that you're asking me is, is on the ad, so I'm not really sure if you're looking for a listing or what. We are looking to either bring you a buyer or to, to list it, however we could help. I'm an assistant here, and it's my job just to get information for the team. All right, well, they should have gotten it from, you know, the listing. 
Okay, Suzy Q, have a good day. All right, so we're going to put her in there as a buyer only for now, and we'll follow up down the line to see if there's anything we can do to help. Not much room for us right now. On to the next. This is Mark. Hey, Mark. This is Jeremy with Frank Albert Realty. How you doing? Fantastic. Yourself? Good. Is your property still available on Weatherstone, or have you gotten it sold? No, it's in the contract still. Gotcha. When are you guys set to close? It's like late November. Okay. Well, I'll check back then. If you guys need any help with anything, let us know. Um, but hopefully, everything closes smoothly for you. Hey, thanks. Have a good day. You Bye. too. So these are um, these are about a month old. They're for sale by owner from about a month ago, and so they've either sold it, like that one, and they're just pending close. Or they're still trying to sell it and they're ready to hire a realtor, or they've already hired a realtor. So we're looking for the folks that are frustrated and for some reason it hasn't sold yet and now they're ready to discuss hiring a team. Just got a text from a up uh, another agent that was upset because I was calling her client. But hello, hi, this is Jeremy over at Frank Alberts Realty. Hey, is this... how are you, Jeremy? Good. Is this Bill? Yes, it is. Bill, did you get your property on Weathersfield sold, or is it still available? No, I just took it off the market. My wife wants to stay. Okay, well, hey, you got to listen to the boss, right? <laughs> Until I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I appreciate the call. you got any other transactions we can help you with? No, not, not currently, but I appreciate the offer. Take care, Bill. You too. Bye. We're getting some good contact. It's a good time to be calling. Hello. Hi, Teresa. Yes. Jeremy over at Frank Albert's Realty about your property on 8th. Yes, how can I help you? Did you already get that sold or is it still available if we had a buyer? It's still available. Okay. Are you uh, can, uh, cooperating with buyer's agents that have buyers? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, let me take a quick look here. looks like you're asking 325 Right. Okay, and it's been on the market for a few weeks. Have you guys got any offers? We have, but um, it, we haven't had anything that's been a serious offer yet. I hear you. Okay, so nothing in the ballpark. Right. I mean, we're open to offers, but um, yeah, that most of them have been really, really low, even for for the neighborhood for everything. Well, you're going to get that. That's just part of the game, you know. Yeah. Uh, quick question. If you can't get the price you want in the next couple of weeks or months, are you going to work with a realtor to get it sold? That I don't know. We haven't made that decision yet. Would it be okay to keep in contact? And if we have a buyer, we'll let you know. And then down the line, if you need somebody to help list, at least interview us to see what we would do different? Sure. I would say give us at least two weeks. Yeah, fair enough. I know I kind of called you out of the blue here. Um, let me take a look here. Did you guys take these pictures yourself, or did you guys get a professional photographer to come in? 
Check them out. Yeah, they look great. Thank you. You're welcome. And just curious, because Frank's going to ask our, our, our broker, uh, the 320, the, the 325, did you guys get an appraisal done or doing the duff of comps, or how did you come up with that? Uh, we actually have a realtor friend in the neighborhood, well, a retired realtor friend who still keeps her finger in, and she's the one who told us uh, or recommended the price. Oh, okay. Okay. And are you getting more calls from real estate companies than buyers, or is it a mix? Um, it's mostly real estate companies. Yep, yeah, also a part of the, the game. Yeah. Have you guys done a for sale by owner before? Yes, we have. Okay. When you do sell this property, what are your plans? We already bought another house. Where we moved, we found a house moved, and then got this one ready to sell. Okay. So you guys are, so you don't have to sell besides the part of having two mortgages. Right, right. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we're okay. We're, we're not, we're not desperate sellers by any means. I hear you. Well, I'd like to do two things. When we get done, email you our uh, resume so you can see what we do and some of the homes that we've sold in the area. And then in a, in a couple weeks, like you said, just follow back up. Okay. Would that be okay? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. What's the best email, Teresa? Um, it'll be my email address, which is T-E-R-I-G Henry. So T E R I G H E N R Y at Netscape dot net. Netscape. Let me repeat that back. I have T E R I G Henry at Netscape dot net. That's correct. Okay, uh, it will say, uh, Terry, we just spoke. It's Jeremy with Frank Alberts Realty. There will be some links to different things that we do, some of our reviews, kind of like a resume for the brokerage. And then if, if the team has a buyer, we'll reach out in the meantime. But if down the line you're ready to interview some teams to see what they would do for marketing, I can set that up. The biggest thing that's different with, with us is that Frank's sister company is called Sublime Staging. And so in some cases, we will come in and stage the property as part of our marketing. And that helps the property sell quickly for what you're looking to get. We're already staged. What, what the pictures you're seeing are the pictures as they stand today. Okay. Well, just so you know, that's something that we offer as well as other things that we offer too. But if it gets to that point, one of our specialists will go over everything with you that we would offer if needed. Okay, thank you very much. Well, good luck on getting it sold, and uh, I will send you that email, and if there's anything we can do to help, just let me know, okay? Uh, is it Terry? Yes. All right, Terry, have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys, so that's a ideal call for a for sale by owner. She's going to try for about another two weeks. So she's already been on the market for about four weeks, so that's about, that's about right, you know, about a month, month and a half. And then uh, give us an opportunity to show her what we would do. Let me check the comments here, see if you guys are talking in here. No, nobody's talking. You guys are quiet today in the comments. So waiting on a call here from one of our vendors that's going to help set up this uh, new new platform. So this is what we do, guys. This is what we do all day, every day as a virtual ISA. J Marketing, that's my company. We call you close. Realtors hire me to work as their virtual sales team and set up a...
appointments and create relationships for them. That's what we do, guys. That's what we do. Pretty darn good at it, too. And I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy what I do every day. It's just fun. It's kind of like a game, figuring everything out. And then, you know, when I actually am able to convert convert uh, cold data to, to listings, it's just, a, it's just a huge reward. You know, I'm helping real estate agents help their clients. So it's like a helping, helping. It's a, I like it. So we are switching from one platform, Vulcan 7, over to uh, to Red X, and this is the first call session I'm using for Red X for this campaign. And I'm actually creating an email that I'll send out regular, regularly through Red X right now. That's why it's kind of on pause. And while I'm waiting, I'm hoping that uh, this third party calls me right now so I can get this set up. You know, there's a lot of different vendors out there that I could uh, choose to have my clients work with because when my clients start they hire me as their virtual sales team they go off of my advice as to what vendors to use and that type of thing and so I have a few trusted vendors that I use and I continue to send my clients to and it's good they're on point you know Red X Vulcan Mojo there's only a few that I would I use and that's because you know, we work well together and they offer a good service and they have a good product.
just got a bounce back from Terry's email, so I must have wrote it in wrong. I'm just going to send her a text real quick. She just texted me back. I had an error there. And I knew that. I, I, I thought that was the case. But let me just fix it real quick. Okay, good. That, that time it went through. I really do enjoy doing what I'm doing. Yeah, a lot of it's a cold calling and a lot of people don't like that.
Um, but I've been doing, I've been cold calling since I was 16 years old. And since, ever since I started, I always had a lot of success with it. And I actually enjoy it. You know, I, I actually enjoy picking up the phone or these days using technology like a dialer and creating something out of nothing. That's really what we're doing here. You know, we're creating potentially thousands and dollars, thousands of dollars in commissions by making a a cold call. I love it. We're helping people. We're helping people with their big, the biggest transaction that they'll ever have. Right, Tommy. Woo. Tommy was one of my training, uh, my coaching clients, and he's been pounding the phones, man. He just texted me that he got a listing appointment set for this weekend. That's my dude, Tommy. Good job, brother. Keep going. I'm gonna tell him just stay on the dialer. So let me put Teresa on calendar, Terry, she likes to go by. That's my dude, Tommy, Tommy Quinn. Tommy Quinn's a, he's a realtor in uh, Petaluma, in the Bay Area. It's a real nice part of the country, part of the state. Young guy, just really grinding it out and working hard, and now his work's starting to pay off. I love it. So my other part, the other part of my business is I train and coach realtors and assistants to do what I'm doing. So not only do I do this for my clients, which are you know top producing realtors in um, around the country, but I train as well. full cycle you know either they're hiring me to do it for them or I'm training them to do it how I do it you guys with me and if you're a realtor and you want information on either of those services but just hop on my calendar
making a post on Instagram right now for my coaching business. If you guys are on Instagram, follow my handle. R E Cold Call Coach. So I'm assigning Terry to one of the agents on the uh, Frank Alberts Realty so she can follow up as well. And then we'll move on to the next call here. It's a little bit slower than normal because you guys are seeing me do everything. You're seeing me make my calls. You're seeing me do the admin work, talk about it. So I kind of want to give you the insight of really what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting on a call from one of our vendors to be able to um, you know, finish getting this account set up. So I'm doing a little bit of everything here. continue on with the calls. Oh yeah, that's the last thing I was going to do. I need to save Terry's number in my contacts. You know, I'm fully transparent with the way I do business because, hey, if you guys watch me enough, really, you could start a freelance company doing what I'm doing if you watch what I do and listen to what I say because I really give everything. But I do that because I like to be just fully transparent with what I do. And honestly, when I'm doing these live sessions, my level of work 
it's at, an, at a higher level as well. It's kind of like when you're training somebody, you're doing, you're working, your, you're doing your best. You know, I'm human, and sometimes, you know, it's not always raha, siskumba. You know, I need a little bit of motivation, and this motivates me to work even harder when I'm doing these lives. Because it may not seem like, from your view of the camera, that I'm doing a lot, but I am, guys. I'm grinding. This is what I do all day, every day. Oh, so that's weird. The agent that I'm assigning this to, her last name is is Henry as well, and the owner of this property, her last name is Henry. Maybe they know each other. Doubt it, but there's a chance. If you guys have questions about anything that I'm doing, feel free to ask. That's what the comments box is for. And every now and then I'll check the comments and ask your guys' questions. But that's not the main thing that I'm doing, so that screen's not always up. But every now and then I'll check that tab and go over to that tab.
the next. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, this is Jeremy calling from Frank Alberts Realty for Donnie's. Yes. Calling about your property on Herrer. Did you get that sold or is it still available? Um, I haven't heard back on the financing. It's supposed to be, I um, should know by Tuesday at the latest. Oh, so you have an offer? Yes, I have a full price offer. Awesome. And it's just contingent upon the financing, which we'll know for sure by Tuesday. Okay, well, I was calling to see if if we had a buyer, if you're still taking offers, but now that answered my question. Yeah, next week I'll know more. I will follow up. Have a good day. Thank you, too. So she has an offer contingent on the financing. Not much reason to continue the conversation. We'll just follow up next week. You guys got to see this view. So I come right, I come to this spot right here a lot because it's just really inspirational and it's very peaceful. Um, it's called the Nimbus Overlook, and it overlooks this a lake. And well, I'll show you in a minute when I finish doing this. Check this out. I don't know if you can see it, but that's my view. All right, beautiful. Moment, I'm going to switch campaigns up and start calling in a different market. Hello, you've reached Terry North with RDO Equipment Company. Please leave a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Terry, this is Jeremy over at Frank Alberts Realty calling about the property on Phoebe Park. When you get this message, if you can give me a call back or send me a text on this number. Just had a couple of questions about the property. Again, this is Jeremy over at Frank Alberts Realty, 813-586-3428. I'm gonna call back because I know that's the person I'm looking for. Let's see if he answers. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine, five, four, six. Hello, this is Paul. Hey, Paul, this is Jeremy calling about your property on 43rd. Yeah, it's under contract. 
Uh, congratulations. When are you set to close? Pardon? When are you set to close? Uh, December 14th. Are you taking... I closed earlier, but I've got a health situation going on, so... Oh, no. Okay. Are you taking backup offers? Uh, what are you going to offer? There isn't one on the table yet. I just wanted to know what we can what we can do to help if needed. Well, I'd have to get 390. Okay. Backup offer. So. Makes perfect uh, sense to me. Well, I'll let you know if we have somebody who's ready to put that on the table. Uh, you're a realtor? I work for one. Yeah. Well, I'm not paying any commissions. So, that probably shoots you down, too. So, all right. Hey, have a good day. You Bye. too, Paul. Not our client. Hello? Hi, this is Jeremy with Frank Alberts Realty calling for Alfredo or Barbara. Man, he just hung up on me, huh? Let's call him back. He probably thought I was a, a voicemail. Welcome to the stream. If you guys are joining, I'm Jeremy Marquez. J Marketing is my company. Cole calling for my clients down in Florida. Yes, this is Jeremy over at Frank Alberts Realty, calling for Alfredo or Barbara. Yeah, this house is sold. Gotcha. Have a good day. So, these for sale by owners that I'm calling, they're a month old. They were listed back in the beginning of October. It's now the second week, of, first week of uh, November. So, these properties, I know that they've been sold. They've hired a realtor or they're frustrated and they're looking to hire somebody because it hasn't sold yet. I'm looking for the third option. So it's more like I'm weeding through the grass looking for our client. You got to dial, dial, dial. You got to keep the positive mental attitude and you just got to keep on pushing. Disconnected there. Let me call back. Looking at the remarks, there's a, another phone number in here I can call. to the next. Hello? 
Yes, this is Jeremy at Frank Alberts Realty calling about the property on 3rd. Yeah. Still available or did you get that closed? No, it's available. Okay, great. I uh, work for Frank Albert Realty and we were wondering if we if we had a buyer if you're offering a commission. Uh, yes. Fantastic. And looks like you're uh, are you a builder? No. Okay, no, I just I built, a, I built before. I'm, I'm a veterinarian actually. But... Okay, cuz I saw Harbor Gems LLC, so I was just curious. Well, we have three of them on that corner, so we formed an LLC. We started this out as a vacation rental. Didn't, didn't like the vacation rental business. Very lucrative, but it's a pain in the ass, I hate to say. But. I hear you. Part of uh, part of Frank's business, that they do that as well, so I know what you mean. Yeah, it just wasn't too, too intense. But they're on, uh, they're on long-term rentals, and this particular one, we just came off a 12-month lease, and... Uh, and uh, we just decided to put it up to see what's going on. What are these? I'm showing, uh, I'm showing the one that's behind it on 2nd Street North tomorrow. And if the lady's a pretty strong up, and uh, if she goes, if she wants it, uh, then we'll probably pull the other one off the market and, and uh, put it on the lease. But, so we've got that one behind it. One going down the street in one direction behind it going next to it the blue one with the lavender in the back the studio in the back um, that's one of ours as well what do these normally rent for uh, we rent the uh, uh, we rented the one that's for sale right now for 26 a month and, and tenant paid uh, use okay the one behind it on second is getting 21. Client uh, tenant pays use, and uh, the and the uh, I got it. Which one is yours? Oh, uh, I'm looking at the 205. Okay. Yeah, 205 uh, is actually oddly enough, it's the smallest. It's a 800 and a 300. Two two structures, but that one we get uh, we do pretty well on financially. That one we get 18 and uh, nine. So, I'm just I'm curious, uh, you guys had it at for sale by owner since October 8th, you know, what's going on? Have you had any offers or? Uh, at this point, yeah, we just put it up for a month just to see and if we didn't need to, you know, if we got interest, then we'd go. Uh, I have someone that's pretty strong, he texted me yesterday, pretty strongly interested, waiting on something, and like I said, I had another lady who came and looked at it that, uh, Loved it, but it was too much for her. And I said what I would tell her the other one for. And she said, that one's in my price range. I'll probably pay cash. I'm selling my house. I'll have the equity. And she goes, I'll probably just come in and write a check for it and be real easy cheesy. And we'll nitpick over all the little BS details that 100 year old houses have. Right. And I'll be happy and you'll be happy. And it's like, yeah. So that may go down Sunday. So. Now, those people in there are month, month to month. I'll end on this because I don't want to waste too much of your time here. Uh, would you be open to hearing a strategy of how we would list it and sell it and still net you the same amount that you need? Uh, possibly, but why don't you put me on your tickle list or something for like next week and see where we're at after this? Because I got two things that are probably going to play out next week. In which case, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be. It'd be wasting your time. Your first name? So, Terry. Terry. Okay. I'm Jeremy. I work for Frank Albert Realty. Uh, I'll text you our info okay. and then uh, maybe follow okay. up Wednesday. Uh, yeah, probably Friday next week, I would say. Okay. Sounds I'll good, Terry. Then. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Take buddy. Care. Bye. So, Izzy, that's what we want there. We want to get him to talk in, give us all the info we need, just be quiet, ask a couple of open ended questions, and then go back right for the point, you know? The whole idea is we're trying to get that listing. And if he needs our help, there's an opportunity there. So I'm going to follow up next week and see what we got. If it hasn't sold, if he hasn't got an offer that he's accepted, it's going to be an appointment to go by, look at the property, and meet with them at least.
You guys, I'm going to probably wrap up this live session on that call. We gotta take care of a few things and possibly I'll go back and go do another live this afternoon. But you can always go to the videos tab on J Marketing and watch all my previous sessions. If you're a realtor or a broker and you're interested in my service, either hiring me or talking about my coaching and training program, or if you want me to train your assistants or your team, we can talk about that. We do it virtually or you can bring me out to your office and we can do it that way. We can work out the details, just hop on my calendar. Um, again, I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing. We call, you close, and now Power Prospecting Coaching. Let me go ahead and uh, wrap up this live video and let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you guys. Happy Friday, guys.